Trying coming in as a first-year program, seems like just yesterday the North Central men's volleyball team was in its inaugural campaign, but now they're a national powerhouse, ninth-ranked team in the country, and looking to win their first Midwest Collegiate Volleyball League game inside Res Rec. We open up with the Thunder having jumped on top 3-1, to one, but the Cardinals looking to respond. Michael Trunzo sets up Justin Curtis, but his kill attempt dug out. So now trying to turn to score, but the Cardinals there to sniff out the attempt by Kyle Dixon. So now Trunzo, take two. This time to Jake Zemba, and he smokes one home. Zemba now in the service line with the first set tied at six. And try and set her Hunter Monday, cues up Dixon from the back row. And he finds the soft spot in the Cardinal D. Thunder stick it around up seven to six. Coming off an ace, NCC setter Michael Trunzo sends it in. North Central up 11 and nine. The Thunder sending over something libero Sam Karish can handle, and not just handle, but throttle, which is exactly what Zemba does to take a 12-9 lead. North Central trying to keep the pedal to the metal, and a few points later, Bojadar Kolov gets in on the act. The back set from Trunzo gets the senior in position, and he does the rest. NCC up 14-10. Cardinals now lead 21-17, but the Thunder trying to play their role in the upset. In the middle position, Trine's Eric Ruther gets the kill to bring his team back to within three. After four straight Thunder points to draw within two, the Cardinals looking to top off the opening set. And who better to go to than Zemba, who kills it with finesse, 25-22 the first set win for the Cards. To the second, and Trine with an attack chance, but Curtis part of the wall that deflects it back as the Cardinals get a free ball sent over. And then how about this whack from Nick Lilly out of the back row, NCC up 2-1. to one. Little later on in Zemba on the serve. Monday sets it up to Dan Barron, but his kill attempt snuffed out. Then Trunzo with the short quick set to Anthony Kluzak, who's in the middle as NCC goes on a five-point streak to take a commanding 11-3 lead. Following an ace on the serve before, Trunzo back of the line. And how about that? Heat seeks the sideline and nets a second straight ace. NCC a big 18-6 on cruise control in set number two. And to finish off the set and go up 2-0, NCC gets a little tapper over and then sets up Curtis. And his changeup has tried out in front, and North Central wraps it up with a pair of aces from Kolov, 25-9 in the second set. Moving to the third and trying, attempting to stave off a loss by forcing a fourth set, Monday going cross-court and putting it up for Eric Santiago Garcia, who hammers home one of his team-leading eight kills. But NCC responding just as they did in those first two sets. After the gorgeous pass from Lilly, Trenzo dials up Zemba's number again as the Southpaw secures back-to-back -back kills to put North Central up 12-9. Zemba with a match-high 11 kills. The final dagger, this monster blast coming from Lilly. NCC wins the third 25-17 to secure a three-set sweep and then beats Mount St. Joseph the next day to start 2-0 in conference play. Knowing that we play a first-year team, we just wanted to make sure we take care of business and uh, take care of the game uh, as clearly as we can, less mistakes, and just play our game and have them adjust to us because uh, no disrespect to Trine, but we believe we have a faster game and they couldn't keep up this match. We just looked at each other and we all knew that uh, we're playing kind of slow at the moment and we just gave each other a little push, you know, come on, let's, let's wake up, start playing, let's get the crowd going and um, we were able to pull away and able to close it out in the way we wanted. Our mentality is next match, so this game is in the past now. We did what we needed to do, and tomorrow is Mount St. Joe's. They're not a bad team, so we can't underestimate them. We've got to play the same match and uh, have them try to adjust to us. We're used to just always being ranked behind Carthage. We're sick of like looking at all the polls. They don't, they don't mean anything, in my opinion. They're just coaches' opinions and projections, but it's all on paper. You still got to play the game. Last year, we were projected behind them as well, but you know, you just got to play the game and see what happens. One game at a time right now, so uh, we know we went 9-0 last year, but that's in the past. It's what's, what's next, and this first game, like I said, one at a time, we get over it. 3-0 win, and we, great team win all around. We're going to focus on our team, like our side of the court, and that was our game plan all week, and we set a goal like that and a focus with um, all six players on the court and the entire team behind us. No matter who's on the court, we're gonna play on our side and play as a team. Everyone's playing as hard as they can, pushing each other, and everyone has each other's back. Um, that's what creates the program, that the dynasty that we want. We wanna keep 
getting players that push each other every day, no matter the situation. It'll come towards the uh, end of conference, so our first goal is to go 8-0, and and then when it comes to that day, then that week, it's, that's our focus, and I think we'll be ready for it, ready to go.